Karen's got put a little rig here. Oh no, that's 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 your rig. Yeah. Yeah, that's Jason's rig. He's pretty sweet. <laughs> Yeah, so I never underestimate the visual inspection. And this unit is a 2014. It's only four years old. And you can see there's a lot of, this is galvanic corrosion, which isn't necessarily a big deal, but of course it looks awful. The evaporator coil is, uh, it's not terrible, but it's in need of a little wipe down. You can see it's got a piston, which whenever I see a unit that's newer like this, that has a piston, I want to look at what the factory piston is. And I want to see if that matches up with the condenser, mm -hmm. because if it doesn't, the odds that the installing contractor actually put the right size piston in are pretty much zero. Okay. So it's something to look for, and when we get the recharge out, it's an easy thing for us to address while we're here if it, is, if it doesn't match up. So we're gonna check outside and make sure that it's also a, a 67. Don't use this toothbrush to brush your teeth. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> we're gonna use a little Viper uh, aerosol coil cleaner it doesn't, it's not required to rinse it. I'm going to rinse it because it's evaporative coil, but it's non-alkaline, non-acidic, so it's not going to cause any corrosion. It's not going to cause any fumes. So it's perfect for this application. We have light soil, nothing serious, but we want to do this before we clean out the drain pan because if anything comes off that coil, we want it uh, to go down and out. So actually having the uh, vacuum running while we're doing this is actually perfect. So go ahead. It's all you. So now we just gotta let it dwell for five minutes or so, and then we can uh, just rinse it off right into the pan. Be careful, because a lot of times those things leak. Mm -hmm. so this is sort of an ideal circumstance, because we got a drain pan right underneath this thing, so normally you'd need a drop cloth or something of that nature, but now we're just gonna rinse from the top down, and that'll also help clean the I kind of wiped down with a rag in there just, just for up to down motion to get any of the surface soil off without impacting it in. And it looks quite a bit better already. We'll just rinse both sides and then we're ready to finish the, the drain cleaning and on our merry way.